Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to live stream on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. All right, so for the longest time, when we would want to stream on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, we would pretty much have two devices going on at the same time. So we, we would have this right here, this camera. YouTube was the priority one. So YouTube would get this set up right here, which is with the laptop and the webcam. And then we would have our phone on the side mounted on a little mini desk tripod. And then it would kind of film us at the same time. Now that was a ghetto setup until we found this software. So the software I'm talking about is StreamYard and we've been using it for a couple of months now. I would say like two to three months and I have to say that I honestly do love this live streaming software. It makes things so much easier. It makes your streams look professional and it has a really cool dashboard interface when you're going live and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So StreamYard is a paid live streaming software, but it does have a free version. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, there is a $10 credit link down in the description below. Using that link will get you guys a $10 credit towards StreamYard. Okay, so first let me show you a latest live stream that we did through StreamYard. And we streamed on our Facebook group called Creative Business Success and our YouTube channel at the same time. So this is what it looks like on Facebook. And as you can see here, it's got like a cool banner that you can customize. You can customize the whole thing to your logo and colors. So this is our logo. Black, purple, and white are our colors. And I'll play a little bit here. Here. No. And this is the first. Okay, so our names pop up at the bottom there. And there's other cool features. Like you can have these banners pop up during your live stream. So we pre-filled these in. This one says here, got a question, put it in the comments for us to answer. You can also have people's comments show up on the screen here. So this was a comment that we got from YouTube from someone and you're able to show that up on the screen and it looks really clean and professional. So let's head over into the dashboard to check it out. So at first when you go into StreamYard, it's like really basic and simple. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys are the destinations. Don't worry about this right now. I'll reconnect it to show you guys. So the destinations. So if you have the highest level of their package, which is the professional package, right now we have the basic and that's okay. You can stream to two destinations and we choose YouTube and Facebook but you can actually stream to five destinations at one time. So like I said, we've got this one right here and it works really well for what we need it. Mainly we just want to do a live stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So we've connected our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, our Facebook page, and our personal profiles. And when you click here, you can add a destination. And this is all the, the places that StreamYard currently can stream to. So you've got a Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, LinkedIn page and profile, YouTube channel, Periscope, Twitch, Restream, and a custom RTMP, which we do not use. So I'm gonna head back over to the destination here. And when you connect to your destination, this is what it will likely look like. So it says that I need to reconnect my destination to my Facebook profile. So I'm just gonna click on it to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like when you're trying to connect. So you obviously need to be logged into your Facebook and I already am, so this is gonna pop up here. And you do need to allow StreamYard to post because it's going to be posting your live stream. So I'm gonna click OK. And so now it's connected and it's pretty much good to go. So when you go over to broadcast, you can schedule upcoming broadcasts and your past broadcasts will show up here. So these are our past broadcasts. And let me just show you, let's just pretend we are creating a broadcast. 
you would click the destinations that you want to broadcast to. So if we had the highest level, we could broadcast to all of these all at the same time. But since we have the plan where it allows you to do two, we usually choose one of the Facebooks and then YouTube, we always live stream on YouTube. So depending on what the topic is, we might go, okay, we'll stream on our YouTube channel and then our Facebook group. Or if we're doing something else, it might be our YouTube channel and then my profile or my business partner, Arit's profile, or just the fan pages in general. So you can also do an option to not broadcast and to only record with the StreamYard software, which is really cool. And when you click, let's say I want to broadcast there and then I want to broadcast there. So you just, I just chose two places and then you would add your title and then you would add your description. You can schedule this for later. You can also customize for each destination. So I can write something here just for YouTube and then I can write something here just for Facebook. And then once you filled out all of your information, you just click create broadcast and it will show up in your upcoming broadcasts. Now I'm going to go into a past broadcast to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like. So let's go into this one right here, enter broadcast studio. From this, from this area, you can also download your recording separately if you wanted to upload it somewhere else. So I'm going to click enter broadcast and I'm currently using my microphone and camera. So I'm going to have these unchecked and it's just going to be a black screen, but usually the picture and the audio would be showing up, but because I'm using it to record this video, it's not going to show up. Enter without mic and cam. That's fine. So like I said, my devices aren't connected because I'm using them right now to record this video. All right. So it's really cool because once you're in the dashboard, there's so many things that you can customize and it makes for a really great live streaming show. So because this broadcast has ended, it's not going to say like go live. You'll see like a countdown thing here if you've scheduled it. And there's a button here that says go live, but you can see that there are different options to how you want your screen to look. If it's just going to be you, if you're going to be interviewing someone else, you can have two different views. If you, if there's three people also, if you're showing something on the screen, like a PowerPoint picture, or whatever, you can also have that view as well. That was really useful for this one because we were doing, we were showing like a PowerPoint screen. You can see here the comments. So these are all the Facebook comments. The YouTube comments will come in here as well, but we mainly got Facebook for this particular one and you can choose to show them on the screen and then you can have them pop up and then you click hide and then it just does like a cool fade in fade out. You can also respond to them down here. And then here you've got your banners that you pre put in. So we have a couple of ones that we have here ready to go. So we have something like this, got a question, put it in the comments for us to answer. We also promote our Facebook group for people to join. You can say things like thanks to everyone who entered our Christmas giveaway because we were doing one for a Christmas contest. And this is in the brand section is where you customize everything. So you can see that we have the purple here and this, this is a graphic that my business partner Arit created. You need to create something like this and then upload it as a little like banner on the side on the top there. And if you guys need help doing something like that, my business partner Reet is also a graphic designer, so she can create something like this for you. And then this here is a private chat. If you have other people joining in as well. And so when you're live streaming, you're in this dashboard and you can control what's happening on the screen. It's really cool. The setup that they have going on, it looks really great as you can see here. And we've been loving using this software. And it's made it a whole lot easier to live stream on different platforms at the same time.
So again, if you guys want to check this out, I highly, highly recommend it. If you are serious about live streaming and if you want to live stream on your YouTube channel and on another platform at the same time, it's not a complicated software to do. You literally just connect your page, your group, your Facebook profile, your YouTube channel. Before we found this, I knew of other methods to live stream on multiple platforms, but it was so much more complicated and when I found out about this and how easy it was, I tried it out for 30 days and it's now how we're going to live stream moving forward. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys can head down to the description below. If you click that link, you'll see a page like this and it says you have been referred to StreamYard. You'll receive a $10 credit once you've signed up. So you guys can get that $10 credit and try it out for yourself. So that is how we live stream on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.